Hey, what's going on guys? Killing Zombies here, back in another video. And today, I have another ration review for today. And right here in front of me, we have is another Polish ration. This one is the SR5 menu. Uh, last video, we did the Polish ration, which was the SR3. And that one was a pretty good ration itself. And this one actually is... Also seems very, very good. So let's take a closer look. This one has meat with barley grouts, pork luncheon meat, hot biscuits, uh, instant tea, some freeze dried fruit mix, uh, fruit lime, cereal fruit bar, and some other goodies. So I'm kind of curious how this is going to taste and how it's going to come out. So without further ado, let's start getting this opened up and see all the components inside. Let's go ahead and give it a Alright, so let's get this opened and see what we got. First up we have is some of those biscuits. Next up we have is that luncheon meat or what I call pad thai. Accessory packet, we'll look at that in a moment. This is gonna be our instant tea. And this will be our Fruit mix. And I don't know if you actually you will add water to that or just eat it as is. We have our lemon lime fruit bar, and we have our meat with barley grouts. Let's see what else we got. And I think that is it in the pack with whatever is there. Accessory, I meant a uh, cutlery kit, a straw for your drink, another pack of hard biscuits, and we have our heater. Now, these are awesome to use, definitely better than the USMRE, but um. I'm going to actually set this to the side and save this for definitely if I need to use it for future wise or something along the lines of that. And we're actually going to boil this because these are very handy dandy, especially in a situation that you need it. So this is everything we have. So without further ado, let's start getting this onto a tray and see what we got. Alright, nice. Now we have everything on a tray. Let's also look at that accessory packet while we're here. Um, our water is boiling. So, when that is all boiled, we're going to definitely put that here. We have some toilet paper or napkins. I always call that toilet paper though. We have a... Uh, baggy. This looks like maybe just your trash bag. So that's pretty cool. A wet nap. Some gum. Some pepper. More of those diggy candies. coffee candy, and we have some salt. All right. So let's actually start getting that main bowl heated up. Let's set those to the side. All right. Let's get this heated up. All right, now while our main is heating up, 
let's start getting everything else onto the tray. So let's actually check out that lime. That lime bar. So I did have a couple comments letting me know that this actually is rice paper and it is edible. And to be honest, there's not really any smell to it other than it smells very earthy in a way. Let's check out that. It does have a resealable seal, so I don't know if it's got to be added with water. Oh, no, actually. That's a weird red color to it. Wow. Look at all that. Huh. Yeah, it's a weird red, red color. Huh. All right. Let's get those biscuits. Uh, I think we're going to just use these regular ones. I do hate using the knife for like over usage, but it's very hard to open those up. Alright, and let's check out that luncheon meat. That looks nice. Yeah, that definitely smells like pork. Looks like ham, actually. We'll check out that drink in a moment. Definitely want to dig in real quick to that luncheon meat. It's actually... Well, it doesn't really, it's not really that soft. It's actually luncheon meat. Oh, there we go. Let's try that. Mmm. Smooth, creamy. Really good. Not bad. Now let's get that drink. Alright. Also, our main is all heated up so we'll open that in a moment let's uh get our tea i don't remember what this one was let's see this one was a firest fruit flavored i have no clue what that means whatsoever It smells like a red raspberry tea. It doesn't really smell like anything, really. <laughs> Hopefully it's not spicy. Because firest fruit. We're going to add just that. For now, we have last time added a little bit too much. So... Hopefully this is just enough water. And we'll let that sit while we open up our main. It's not overly hot. Just warm enough. It'll be good. Look at that. Do I see sausage in here? Oh, I'm dripping it all over the place. Oh, no. 
Well, let me clean this up. Be right back. All right. So let's start getting into this. Looks like we have some barley. Let me give a close up on this so you guys can see. You can see some barley and lots and lots of meat. There is no uh, little pieces of meat like we have in the States. Very tender and soft. There were much more pieces there. I think I see some onions as well. Let's just give a dig in. Let's see if it'll focus. Looks pretty good. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, yeah. So much flavor. That barley is very soft. Meat is very juicy. Mmm. Wow. So good. Let's give it another bite because that alone is really good. Oh, wow. Alright, now let's move on to... <laughs> that was a weird angle. <laughs> let's move on to this drink. Huh. That's actually pretty good. It tastes like uh, a mixture of uh, raspberry and fruit punch in a way, in a weird combination. It's not bad whatsoever. I can't stop eating this stuff, but we're going to move on. And we're going to have some more pork lunch meat. We're going to slap this onto a cracker, even though I know dang well it is not going to stay. I actually have to soak that in just all that fat there. We're going to let that soak there, and we're going to try this. That look good. Can't get enough of that stuff. So good. I will try it with a cracker. Nope. I can't eat that. I'm going to break my tooth on it. You literally have to soak that in coffee or tea. There's no way to eat that. Oh well. And more crackers it is. Hmm. Put all this on there, even though I ain't, I know it ain't gonna work, but we'll set it there for now. Let's cleanse the palate. And let's move on to some freeze dried fruit. These are little cubes. It looks like we have some strawberries, um, some banana. I think that right here is banana. Maybe this is mango. Whatever it is, it's just a whole bunch of red and white. And uh, we're gonna try it out. <laughs> wow, that's really good. Lots and lots of tautness from that. Not much sweetness. Um, there is a banana in there. That's sweet, but as far as everything else goes, um, definitely have your strawberry in there. I think there might be even raspberries in it too. But that's very sour in a good way though. But it can be overpowering for some. Now, I do not know how this is going to taste. Personally, I did not like this the last time. But there's the inside. And your rice paper that just... I don't know. I'm going to dig in. 
but I will give my honest thoughts on it. Okay. Honestly, it is a very weird texture in my mouth. Not only from the um, rice paper alone, because it, it's my body telling me that it's not actually edible, though it is. You definitely had the lime flavor, but alone itself is just a very weird mixture of flavor and texture. And I will sit there and say that the lime flavor is good, but it's very mild. So all you really taste is that rice paper and all the uh, fruit and nuts, but it's okay. It's mediocre. I'll sit there and say I, I tried it, but I would not say there and say I enjoyed it. I'm going to go back to this real quick before we come back for recap. Because that is all that we have on our plate that will be for eating. So, see you guys in recap. Alright guys, we're back to recap here. And overall, this ration alone was quite an experience. It was very flavorful and definitely a lot of different textures also. That buckwheat grouts with... Oh, I'm sorry, barley with grouts. I'm so mixed up with barley and uh, the other grain. But this main alone was very flavorful and very tasty. Even if you if you just made the the barley grouts just alone with whatever kind of fat content was in there, I'd eat that. Hands down. Don't even need the meat. Just have that. That was very good, very soft, and just a like, punch of flavor. Now, you have your pork luncheon meat. That was pretty good. I actually th knew it was going to kind of be like almost similar to liverwurst. Just not the liver, of course, but texture-wise, it's, it's very hard to smear on crackers or bread or some sort. Crackers, I mean... Those are just self-explanatory. Those are just inedible. Uh, unless you want to break a tooth. Or... Yeah. I mean, if you want to suck on the uh, cracker for a while, then you can do so yourself, too. That fruit mixed was really good. To be honest, it tasted kind of similar to the fruit mix that I've had from Minotaur itself. But... It was more in bits, and there was more of uh, a fruity and kind of sour taste to it, too. That nut and fruit bar, that wasn't really good. In my opinion, I did not enjoy it whatsoever. Now, moving on to that fruit drink. Ooh, that was very good. Very sweet, a little bit of tautness. But just enough sweetness and putting that much water in that kind of glass for that drink was just phenomenal. Just amazing. Pretty lost for words for this menu number five here. I'm happy to say that I will be uncovering more and more uh, Polish menus uh, throughout the series. And I'm looking forward to it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications down below so you don't miss out on future videos that I post, rations I try out, and I review. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day, guys.